Next, we'll look at the Caucasus, and in particular, the state of Georgia, a former Soviet Socialist Republic under the USSR, and before then, a, an acquisition of the Russian Empire in the 19th century. Georgia is an interesting case, in many ways similar to Ukraine in its opposition to Russia and its nationalist revolution that brought to power a very pro-Western figure. Uh, but in the case of Georgia, because it's further from Europe, more isolated and therefore more vulnerable, this nationalist upsurge uh, led to disaster. Um, the story begins in, in 2003. Following the independence of Georgia after 1991, there was a period in which Georgia was led by former Soviet foreign minister uh, Shevardnadze, uh, and that led to a kind of nationalist upsurge in Georgia in 2003 under what the Georgians termed the Rose Revolution, their color being rose in 2003 as contrast to the orange in Ukraine in 2004, but in many ways quite similar. Similarly, that led to the election of a pro-nationalist Georgian president, uh, President Saakashvili, who came uh, to power in the election uh, following the Rose Revolution. And Saakashvili, like Yushchenko in Ukraine, was very aggressively pro-Western, seeking to join the, the European Union and NATO. But that aggressive policy got Saakashvili into serious difficulties. Consider the physical geography of, of Georgia, which is pictured here, lying just south of the Caucasus Mountains that form the border between Russia and the Caucasus states of Georgia uh, and, and other small states to the south. This mountainous border produces a very fragmented population, which has generated a large number of independent ethnic groups. As this map of the Russian George, uh, Georgian region indicates, these groups are divided into very small slices of populations, including on the Russian side of the border, Chechnya, Dagestan, and Ingushetia, and on the Georgian side of the border, groups such as the Ossetians and the Abkhazians, as well as the four million plus Georgians. After the Rose Revolution in 2003, both Georgia and Russia began to exploit these ethnic differences across the border. In the case of Georgia, it was to support the Chechnyan War of Liberation from the Russian dominance. And in the case of Russia, it was to promote the autonomy or independence of the Ossetians and the Abkhazians. This kind of Cold War might have gone on, save for the aggressive policy of President Saakashvili, who sent troops into South Ossetia, a region of the state of Georgia, and invited an invasion from the north of the Russians. The Russians brought in overwhelming uh, military force backed by tanks that not only occupied South Ossetia, but began to march on the capital of Tbilisi, halting halfway and accepting a negotiated peace. Following that, the two sides broke off diplomatic relations Russia now recognizes both South Ossetia and Abkhazia, technically parts of Georgia, as independent states. And the end of all trade, the imposition of trade sanctions, has helped bring down the Georgian economy. Meanwhile, Georgia had really no hope of help from the West. There was no inclination on the part of NATO, the United States, or the European Union to intervene in a far-off war against the Russian bear to back the uh, Georgian pitch for uh, greater uh, independence. And as a consequence, 
the Saakashvili regime uh, has seen a declining economy, a, a dismemberment of its country, and a fall of its once high stock among the Georgian population. This helps explain the election in October of 2012 of a new parliament and a new prime minister, Ivanishvili, a man with very close ties to Russia, who is now emerging as the most powerful figure in Georgia and who is likely to challenge Saakashvili in the October 2013 elections. So we have in Georgia, as in Ukraine, an example of this near abroad forming a set of independent countries that look increasingly to the West for greater leverage against Russian domination from the North, but an equal determination by Russia to reimpose its control over the near abroad. And after uh, a decade or more of experiment with this uh, uh, tension, uh, a, a resurgence of Russian power and influence in this region.